Hello, welcome to my channel. Now, in searching for a school to come and study in Canada, there are certain things you need to take very much notice of. These are very important things that you need to consider when you are um, selecting a school to apply to. One of these things that you need to pay close attention to is to ensure that the school you are applying to is a designated learning institution with a designated learning number. Now, this is very, very important because it's going to affect how, it's going to affect whether your visa um, application will be approved. And it's also going to determine your future here in Canada after your studies. Now, it is very important, every school in Canada which is recognized by the Canadian government has a designated learning number or institution. It is usually referred to as a DLI number. Now this number gives recognition to the school. So any institution that have a designated learning institution number is an indication that this school is recognized by the Canadian government to offer education and various forms of uh, education and degree to people because of this if you apply for a school and it does not have a designated learning institution number then you may be in in, in some form of uh, trouble right it can create problem for you when you are applying for your visa you realize that in your visa application there is a part of the form that asks you for your designated learning institution number of the school you are attending. So the fact that the application process requires you to provide the designated learning institution number of the school you are applying to is an indication of how important it is for you to apply to a school that has this designated learning institution number. Apart from this having an effect on whether your visa will be approved or denied. Once you come to Canada and you finish your school, let's say it's a two years or a one year course and you have finished the school, your, the, the school you attended having a deal AI number is going to determine whether you can apply for a postgraduate work permit or not. When I say postgraduate work permit, I've mentioned it in most of my videos. Postgraduate work permit is a permit or a license that um, international students are offered when they complete their school or their studies in Canada. So after you have completed your two years or your one year master's or first degree or PhD in Canada, and you intend to stay in Canada, or you intend to stay permanently in Canada, it becomes very important for you to apply for your postgraduate work permit. Now, whether your postgraduate work permit will be approved or denied is also determined by whether the school you attended is a designated learning institution. So it is very important that you find a school that has a designated learning institution number. So in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how you can find out whether the school you have already applied to has a designated learning institution number. Or if you are now planning to do your application, I am going to show you how you can identify or find a school that has a designated learning institution number. So that when you are doing your study permit application, you know that your school is recognized and uh, your approval rate is, is high, okay? And then you also, you are also rest assured that after your studies, you will qualify to apply for a postgraduate work permit because the postgraduate work permit allows you to stay in Canada between two to three years after your studies and for you to progress to apply for your permanent residence in Canada. Okay, so um, we will go straight to my screen and then I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that you need to take to find out whether the school has a designated learning 
institution number. Okay, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace Opari. And on this channel, we talk about learning and studying in Canada. If you want to migrate to Canada through the study um, route, then this is the channel that you need to be watching. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. And then give this video a thumbs up if give this video a thumbs up and share for others to know about it okay so let's just go straight onto the screen and let me show you how you can find a dli institution number okay so okay so it's very important for you to note that apart from the designated learning institution number it is not only for um, universities in Canada, but also for um, colleges. So the designated learning institution is actually, you can actually find it in various, in all the schools that you find in Canada. So there is um, designated learning institution for universities, for colleges, for secondary schools and uh technical universities and the rest okay so let's go straight to the screen and let's begin from there let me share my screen with you okay a minute okay so as you can see we go straight to google you just go to your google and then you type in designated learning institution i already have it on my laptop so i just have it here designated learning institution list okay when you when you after typing this in you will see the heading here designated learning institutions list you need to make sure that the the link you are clicking on is the official website of the canadian government be mindful that there are scammers around so you need to be sure that whatever link or website you are visiting is the official link of whether the, the a school or the particular government or country that you want to research on so this is the designated learning institutions list then you click on it when you click on this it takes you right away to the website of the canadian government and then you'll find this broad heading designated learning institutions list when you find this then you scroll downwards okay you scroll downwards to the bottom of the website when it gets to the bottom of the website, you will find another subheading that, that is list of designated learning institutions by province or territory. So on this website, you will find a list of all the designated learning institutions in Canada, but they are grouped according to the provinces in Canada. So you move downwards and then you click on the space here. The space, in the space here, you have make your selection. So you click on make your selection. When you click on make your selection, it gives you a list of all the provinces that we have in Canada. So there is the province of Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia and the rest, Ontario, Quebec, Prince Edward Island, Saskatchewan and then Yukon. So these are the provinces we have in Canada. So let's use the province of Alberta as an example. So it also means that you need to know the province that you want to study in. But if you are not certain on the if you are not certain about the province you want to study in, this can also help you settle down on which province you want to have your study. So you click on Alberta, and then this pops up. Once you click on the name of the province, it gives you a list of all the universities with designated learning institutions in Canada. Now, if you see here, 
If you check here, you can see showing one to 10 of 156 entries. What this means is that when you come to the province of Alberta, there are 156 schools with designated learning institutions. And these schools include universities, colleges, secondary schools, technical universities, and the rest. And it's a very huge number. So what you have to do is to take your time and go through each one of these schools to find the one that will be suitable for you. You can also make the search very easy for you. Another way you can do that is, is to filter it. So let's say you are looking for a university in Alberta with a designated learning institution. You can just come to the filter section here and then you type in university. When you type in university, it filters the entries that it has given you and then only gives you the names of universities in Alberta. So if you check here, you will see 15 entries. They, what this means is that there are 15 universities in Alberta with designated learning institution number. So you see name of institution and then designated learning institution number, the city that the university is located in, and then the campuses that it is located in. Now, Another bonus point for you here that you'll find on the website is that you'll be able to know whether this school will offer you a postgraduate work permit or not. Now, what this means is that when you come to Canada, there are certain schools that if you attend and you complete, you are not eligible to apply for the postgraduate work permit, which will allow you to stay in Canada after your studies. In another breath, there are some schools that you are eligible for postgraduate work permits, but there are some courses that if you take in those schools, you are not, or you will not be eligible to apply for the postgraduate work permit. Now, what this means is that when you are applying for the school, you don't only need to take care and make sure that it has a designated learning institution. You also need to make sure that when you attend that school, you are going to be eligible for postgraduate work permit after your school. And then you also need to ensure that the program you are applying for is also eligible for postgraduate work permit. Now, if you don't attend a school that is eligible, if you don't attend a school that is eligible for postgraduate work permit, what that means is that once you complete your school, you need to pack your bags and then go back home because you will not qualify for the postgraduate work permit that will allow you to stay in Canada after your studies. Are we okay? Now, so let's go back to the screen. So whilst you are on the website, you have the advantage to know the name of the school, find out the designated learning institution number, the city it is located in, the campuses they have, and then whether the school is, a, whether the school and the program you want to study is eligible for postgraduate work permit. So here, there are 15 universities in um, the province of Alberta that have designated learning institution numbers. Okay. So let's assume you are not interested in a university, but you want to look at the colleges, right? So you go back to the filter engine, then you type in college. While you type in the college, it will also filter all the list and give you the list of colleges that you can find in Alberta. So there are 84, if you can see that here, 84 entries. So there are 84 colleges in Canada. Now, 
I want to draw your mind to something here. If you look at the colleges, let's look at the first one, name of institution, Solomon College. Designated learning institution number is 011012. The number is here. It is located in the city of Edmonton. The campus is in Edmonton. Offers PGWP, eligible programs, no. You see what I was talking about? What this means is that, yes, Solomon College is a designated learning institution. But when you attend this college and you finish your studies, you are not eligible to apply for the postgraduate work permit. This means that once you finish with your school, you have to pack your bags and go back to Ghana or Nigeria or wherever your home country is. When you take the second college, Derma College of Hair and Aesthetics, it has all the other qualities. But if you come to the part of Office PGWP, eligible programs, the answer is no. But when you come here and then you look at Portage College, this is Portage College, it has a designated learning institution number, and then offers PGWP, the response is yes. So this means that if you attend Portage College and you complete the school, you are eligible to apply for the postgraduate work permit. There are a lot of colleges here in Alberta with designated learning institutions institution number. However, you will not be eligible to apply for postgraduate work permit after your studies. You see, okay, so there's a second a second college here that you'll be eligible to apply for postgraduate work permit. So when you are applying for a college, kindly make sure that the college you are applying to is not a college that only has a designated learning institution number, but it is a college that you will be eligible for a postgraduate work permit after your studies. You see, this is yes. The subsequent ones are no, 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 no. So these are some of the things that you need to take into consideration when you are applying for a school in Canada. Okay, so let's look at the province of British Columbia. Let's look at the province of British Columbia. So you can go back to the main source and then you click on British Columbia. Now, if you click on British Columbia, this is what you, you find. There are at 275 schools in British Columbia alone. Now, what this means is that there are a lot of schools you can find in Canada, okay? But you need to be careful of the school you are applying to. You need to be careful that and ensure that this school is not just any university or college or secondary school in Canada, but one with a designated learning institution number and one that is eligible for postgraduate work permit. You see, if you check the schools in British Columbia, let's filter it to just the university. Okay, there are 19 universities in British Columbia. And they, are, they all have designated learning institution numbers, as you can see from the screen here, there's Yorkville University, Northeastern University, Simon Fraser University, Phelan Dixon University, Capilano University, and the rest. And then when you look at the part offers PGWP eligible programs, the answer is yes, 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 yes. Now, another point I want to draw your mind to is, now come with me to this part where it says offers PGWP eligible programs. If you check this, this part of the website, you realize that there are some of the schools offers PGWP eligible programs. The answer is outright yes. And there are some of the schools, it says yes, and then into bracket details, right? Now, 
the difference between this description is that universities that have the PGWP eligible programs with a straight out answer as yes, means that all the courses, all the programs that they offer in the school is eligible for postgraduate work permit. So it doesn't matter the course you will select to go and do in that school. Once you finish, you, you qualify to apply for the postgraduate work permit. But the ones with yes, but with details, what that means is that there are certain courses in that school. If you apply to read those courses, you will not be eligible for the postgraduate work permit after your studies. Okay, so let's let's look at this example. Let's look at this example. Uh, give me a minute. Let's go back. My internet is a bit slow here. Okay, so let's look at the example of this university. Uh, okay. Give me a minute. Okay, so there's Adler University and it's yes with details, right? Okay, so let's click on this. When you click on, when we click on it, you will find out that there is an inscription which reads, and let me read that out to you. You are eligible for a post-graduation work permit if you complete one of the degrees below and you meet all other PGWP criteria. So Master of, Arts, Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Master of Arts in Industrial and Organizational Psychology, Master of Arts in Organizational Psychology, and the rest. What this means is that if you apply to Adler University and you get admitted into this university, you can only apply for postgraduate work permit after your studies if you read any of these courses here. If you read Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, you are eligible to apply. So apart from any of the list of courses outlined here, any other course that you read in Adler University, you will not be eligible for a postgraduate work permit after your studies. And this is very important and you need to take very note of it. So in effect, or in summary, all what we're trying to say is that it is very good for you to come and study in Canada. I always be, I believe that it's a very uh, positive thing that you want to do. Studying in Canada comes with a lot of privileges, not just for you as a student, but for your family as well. But in selecting a school, you need to make sure that the school has a designated learning institution number, and not just that it has a designated learning institution number, but it also has a postgraduate work permit eligibility. Also ensure that the course you are applying to also has a postgraduate work eligibility, such that when you finish your school, you can apply for postgraduate work permits to extend your stay in Canada and to progress to apply for your permanent residence in Canada, to allow you to stay in Canada permanently. That is if that is what you want to do. But if that is not part of your plans, then you can apply to any school and you don't need to worry about checking whether the course or the program or the school has a PGWP eligibility. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave it at the comment section and then I'll respond to you. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Give it a like button and like so that uh, 
YouTube can continue to suggest my videos to other people so that we together we can grow this channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.